Hey guys, how's it going out there today? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. Everything is going brilliant here in Tokyo, Japan, although we're in our fifth season of the year. Uh, Japan has a rainy season to go with summer, spring, uh, winter and fall and uh, and the rainy season's kicked in here pretty hard so it's raining pretty much every single day but that doesn't dampen my spirits when I get to talk about really cool shoes and sneakers every single day as I have done for something like 560 consecutive days uh, and today is kind of cool because it's a, a three pack that I've been focused on for the last month and I've already done the first in them which was the Brazils uh, and then the second which was that University Red and now we've got this upcoming uh, drop of the, uh, the third in that pack which is the Champ Colour and it's great to sort of do all three of them and talk about them at the channel and sort of has that thread running through. Uh, one of my dogs is making a heck of a noise over there. I hope it's not distracting at all. Uh, and uh, so it's cool to be able to do that. It's a great looking shoe. There's a there's a few features in it that I really want to bring to you guys and talk about today. And also, you know, that whole SB Dunk and Dunk Low line, that, that sort of, you know, the difference between the two and stuff like that. So there's a few things to get into in today's video. Uh, but finally, finally, after a long wait, I can bring you those official images uh, of the upcoming release of the Nike Dunk Low Champ Colors. This is the Tokyo Bada 23 Sneaker Channel, Tokyo Bada 23 Sneaker Channel Day. It's Mainichi, Absuro no Day, Mainichi Mitiko Design. Every single day from Tokyo, Japan, I bring you content about upcoming sneaker releases, sneaker news, and sneaker reviews. And today, what we've got in the spotlight is the third of three, as it said on the thumbnail for this video, uh, which is uh, the Nike Dunk Low Champ Colors, which is coming out on the 26th of June, I think is the right date for it. It's the 24th. Uh, it's coming up real soon, that's for sure, though. And, uh, and I know it's coming up uh, here in Japan on the sneakers app so we can pretty much confidently say it's going to drop because uh, usually once it's up on the sneakers app they don't change those dates you know that's almost a cert although I have seen them change a couple of dates down the line once they hit the sneakers and then they actually drop a little bit too late uh, but these guys scheduled I think is for the for June the 24th uh, and like I said it's the third of three the Brazils the University Reds and now these champ colors and we're going to be looking at that shoe today uh, for me all three of these you know uh, dunk clothes are my kind of shoe. You know what I'm saying? Uh, they, they fit my eye. What doesn't fit my eye is this right here. That's the Ben and Jerry's. I know it goes for like four figures at resale. I know a lot of people talked about it and wanted to get their hands on them. Uh, just not my kind of shoe. I don't really like shoes with a bit too much going on, uh, a lot of color. You know, the only shoes that kind of get close to sort of being a bit over the top, but I still kind of like them, are the Travis Scotts sometimes, not all of them. Uh, but Travis Scotts sometimes do it. Um, but the, usually I like my shoes like this. I like them nice and clean like today's champ colors. Uh, another one that hasn't come out yet, but they're talking about it coming out, is that 7-Eleven, which does have the standard kind of um, dunk color blocking on it but it is a hyped up kind of uh, collaboration with a massive massive brand a huge multi-billion dollar uh, corporation so uh, so for me I prefer my shoes to be sort of simple if you've seen any of my videos about uh, the shoes that I've unboxed and stuff like that they're always uh, those kind of I don't know they're kind of standard in a way and maybe I'm a bit boring about that but that's just what I like and of course that's what I talk about in my channel but other people out there they like uh, things in a different way and that's perfectly fine uh, but when it comes to these guys to these champ colors they do fit my eye very nicely in that they are a very simple shoe a standard sort of silhouette standard sort of color blocking and stuff like that on there so uh, a big yes as far as I'm concerned and it is I've kind of emphasized it as I've said it in the title of this video and stuff like that it is a dunk low and not an SB dunk low and we've talked in the previous videos about how the dunk low line has been running since the mid 80s um, and uh, I can't remember it was, I think it was 85 that they started dropping dunk lows uh, but it wasn't until like 2001 or something something like that, that the SB Dunk Lows come along, came along. And this right here is the main feature on, on an SB Dunk Low, which is different from a Dunk Low. That's a sort of template, if you like, of what goes on in the inside of the midsole um, with air units and cushioning and stuff like that, which you don't get on Dunk Lows. And here we are today with this Champ Colors. It's a third of three Dunk Lows, so you don't have that extra bit of cushioning on the inside. So, uh, and it's one of those things about the channel, like I really appreciate having the option, not the option really, the opportunity uh, to learn about stuff and learn about sneakers uh, and find out, you know, go in depth on them and uh, and finding out, you know, about the differences between dunk lows and SB dunk lows. And we'll look at a couple of those differences today when we get into this shoe. Uh, one thing we'll quickly look at though is that E though um, on the back end of these guys. I can't remember what shoe it was I looked at recently, um, but it was um, a sample um, and it hadn't, you know, yet got a full run. And on the, it was a dunk or a dunk, an SB dunk, I can't remember which, but on the back, uh, the Nike 
Nike branding on there was blocked out in very clean, sort of a geometric rectangular shape. Uh, but one of the key elements of any Dunk Low or SP Dunk Low uh, is on the back end there where you've got that Nike branding, you can see that E sort of lopsided because it doesn't quite fit in the branding panel on there. So uh, I kind of like it. Uh, I know some people out there aren't a huge fan of it and they find it a bit irritating that they can't get the design quite right and there's that little uh, but I like a little bit of imperfection uh, out there in my shoes and things like that. So I'm actually a bit of a yes on these guys. I think it's kind of cool. But uh, getting into it, we've got to let's talk about two particular things on the shoe. One is uh, let's look at the two places that from the outside you can see the difference between an SB Dunk Low and a Dunk Low. The other, have a look at the uh, the way the colour blocking is and what the shoe actually looks like itself. So uh, part one of that, let's go into the, the two places on the outside of the shoe that you can really tell that it's a dunk low. Uh, like I said, on the inside, on the midsole, you've got the, the cushioning stuff, but you can't actually see that. You might be able to feel it when you're walking in them, but you can't actually see it. Uh, part number one, let's zoom in on those laces there, uh, because laces play an important role in hinting to the difference between dunk low and an SB dunk low because uh, dunk lows, just dunk lows, not SB dunk lows, they tend to have flatter, thinner laces than SB dunk lows. Now, of course, uh, that can be changed out if, uh, if it's a collaboration, for example, and they want to put something different on there. But these guys have that really flat kind of, um, I don't know how you describe it, taira is the Japanese word and it's stuck in my mind right now, which is sort of a, a plane or a, a flat plane. Uh, and they are very flat and you can see that in the picture behind me here is the, I've zoomed in on those laces there. So that's one feature uh, that helps you distinguish between dunks and dunk, SP dunks. Uh, and then also the other one that we want to go for, which is again very visible, uh, is uh, the tongue tends to be a lot thinner on dunk lows and it doesn't give as much padding and support that you would get with SP dunk lows uh, because they're skateboard dunk lows and that's uh, they need to give you a bit more support and a bit more comfort when you're moving around as much as you would on a skateboard. Uh, the other thing about uh, the difference between dunk lows and SP dunk lows, uh, and we can look on these um, champ colours from above and go straight down from above so you've got that whole lining on there and the, uh, the padding around the ankle they can have less padding on dunk lows than SB dunk lows, but in the case of these guys, you can actually see there's quite a lot of padding around the ankle there, even though it is just a dunk low. Uh, so there is a sort of question as to whether or not these guys have the same level of padding as SBs would do, uh, or if it's a standard sort of, um, the dunk low sort of uh, design and, and style. Uh, and speaking of which, let's look uh, at the three together. We've got the three lined up there. One particular feature about this and the Brazils, which are on either side of me and not the um, the University Reds, which should be in the middle if the picture's working out the way I want it to, uh, is that the University Reds were just red and white, two colours, nothing else. Uh, and then the Champ colours and the Brazils have three colours on there. In the case of Brazils, it's uh, yellow, green and white. And in the case of today's sneaker, it's a very deep orange, a very deep blue, and then that white midsole on there to give you that third colour. So uh, of the three, the University Reds were just two colours, and then the Brazils and these today, the champ colors have those three colors on there. So that's a distinction on the three. But it is that classic silhouette, is that classic color blocking on there. Uh, and if we take a close up look at that, you can see it's, uh, you know, this very clean leather on these guys. But it is in that deep orange and that deep blue. Maybe we can have a look. Uh, you know, we'll go into the toe box first and you'll see uh, they kind of work together. I kind of feel like they're two deep colors and there's no contrast. I think maybe one of them should have been a bit lighter to give contrast to the other the one it's almost like they're both from the deep end uh, and there's no contrast between the two and as we move back along the midfoot you can see that blue and orange motif playing off of each other uh, with the midfoot and orange and the blue swoosh on the side if we stop on that swoosh actually there's an interesting uh, sort of point in the way the stitching runs down from the top of the shoe uh, and there's two lines I think it's two lines of blue stitching uh, which works really neat as it um, fits in with the blue leather and the blue swoosh but then there's one line of orange stitching you can see it runs right across the top of the swoosh there and gives a little bit of contrast and if we stay sort of in that area you'll also see around the blue paneling on the shoe uh, that the, the it's almost like there's an outline in light blue do you know what I mean and that's to do with the lightness of the leather um, on the inside whereas on the, the surface the leather's dark blue but if you look at it from the side you can see it's a bit lighter because of the interior color of the leather and it gives it almost a kind of glow or a border feel around the dark blue elements of the shoe and it's kind of a unique um, element 
element and a unique take on the shoe, which I, I like and I think is pretty cool. Uh, and then the final thing I want to really get into is I want to go up onto the, uh, the tongue. I remember when I first looked at these guys, I just assumed that the tongue branding up there would be white on orange. Uh, but what I'd say, if you zoom in and again, you'll be able to see it on the green screen here. Uh, it's a sort of light orange on a dark orange, which is an interesting kind of take on it. Uh, they could have gone with, say, dark blue on orange, which would have matched the motif of the rest of the shoe. But you can see here, they've gone with that light orange on dark orange and that uh, adds an extra little bit of pop into the shoe so uh, um, and then if we take it back out look at the whole shoes or one it's a really clean shoe uh, all three of these guys you know it's a, a really nice drop I think it's to me it's going to be one of the sort of last um, drops of the pre-COVID era even though we're in the COVID era and the, the uh, coronavirus era um, a shoe like this or these three shoes would have been coming down the line for a very very long time they don't just sort of come up one week and say, hey, let's drop three dunk lows. Uh, they've been doing this, you know, prepping this for a very long time since before Corona. Uh, and they've obviously gone ahead and stuck with that drop dates that they had already planned. Um, and, uh, but that's gonna change in the future. You know, stuff's gonna change because of coronavirus. So I wouldn't mind betting that this is one of the last sort of pre-Corona, pre-COVID-19 kind of sneakers. And then you're gonna start to see um, stuff coming later on that's a little bit different. Uh, the way that it's promoted, the way that they're dropping stuff and, and change in drop dates, slowing down the number of drops that they have over the course of a month, for example, uh, when they bring out their uh, signature sneakers and things like that. So, uh, uh, And it's a great shoe to sort of finish it off with. Like I say, the third of three, all three of them are really clean. All three of them, I think, go for uh, at least double uh, retail at resale. So uh, they're good shoes to invest in if that's what you're after. Uh, personally, I don't resell shoes uh, or haven't resell shoes. I mean, I'm not saying I would never do it, but I haven't yet done it. So, uh, uh, But if that's your thing, you know, you're probably going to make a couple of balls off of these guys as well uh, but if not you know you've got a great pair of shoes to keep and wear so uh, and that's pretty much it for today uh, thank you very much for checking out the content as usual uh, trying to keep these daily drops going uh, throughout this time we're back at work right now but it's a real disjointed thing you know after uh, being in like three months of semi lockdown here in Tokyo Japan and working from home uh, but managing to keep it together keeping work keeping family life uh, keeping the, the daily drops going so fingers crossed that I'll keep on keeping on uh, but for now it's time to sign off Thank you guys for checking out the content and do what I do every single day, which is uh, tell you that I do this every single day so you're guaranteed to see me tomorrow.